All right, okay, so we are going to start a topic called straight lines and coordinate geometry. And there's three things that I need to introduce yourselves to before we start looking at these things called straight lines, okay? So there's three things that I want to look at sort of in the next hour or so, so the next 40 minutes. Um, and I think they come in this order on your sheet. So essentially, the first thing I want to introduce you, yourselves to is this idea of distance, okay? So we want to introduce ourselves to, to distance. Then I want to talk about, well, okay, now we've got distance. Let's talk about midpoints. And then finally, we're going to look at this idea of gradients. And gradients is probably the most important out of the three, okay? So... First things first, um, I've got on the board here some, uh, a, a, a program called GeoGebra. It's completely free to use, okay, and it's quite good. So essentially, we have got a coordinate grid. Okay? You're happy you've got x-axis and you've got the y-axis. And if I was going to draw a point in here, so if I go up here and I draw any point I like, let's say this one here, what would that point there be? So the point A, can anybody tell me what the coordinates of A would be? 2, 3, exactly, because it's 2 across and 3 up. Are you all happy with that? Okay. And then you can see over here on the left-hand side that I've put 2, 3 there. Okay. Now, what if I was going to put another point on here? Let's say I was going to put this point here. So what would the point B be? 4, 6. So I've got A is 2, 3, and that's how I'd write it. A is 2, 3, and B is 4, 6. Now, what I want to do is I want to work out what is the distance between those two points. So in other words, I want to find the length of this line here, so from A to B. Okay? So can anybody tell me how long that line is? Or can anybody tell me how to work out the length of that line? Any ideas? Any ideas? Good. So how did you get there? You're right. So you use this idea of Pythagoras, right? Use the idea of Pythagoras. You're basically saying, well, look at that. Because it lives on a coordinate grid, I can think of this in terms of a distance across and a distance up. Are you happy with that? Yeah? Think of it as distance across and distance up. In fact, how far is the distance across? Two. You're happy because you're going from two to four. Yeah, I'm just looking at the difference in the x coordinates. So distance there would be four take away two, which is two. Yeah? What would the distance up be? What's the distance in the y direction? Three. Three. You're happy because you're moving from three to six. So the difference between six and three is three. Okay? So I know that this length here is two, this length here is three. What type of triangle have I got there? Yeah, it's right angle, because I know that the x-axis and the y-axis are perpendicular to each other. Okay? So therefore, if I want to find the length of that side there, how would I do it? How does Pythagoras' theorem work? Yeah, so I take 2 squared, that distance squared, plus that distance squared, and that should be that distance squared. right? I don't want that distance squared, so I can take the square root of it to leave me whatever that distance is. Okay? So as an exact answer, what would that be? So 4 squared plus 3 squared, what's that? 14. Um, 13. Sorry, I misheard. OK. So that distance there would be the square root of 13, which is about 3.61. Is that OK? Yeah. So could we generalize this then? Let's say that I just have two random points on my grid. So let's say that A is just x1, y1, okay? And B is just x2, y2. So it's some x coordinate, some y coordinate, okay? And I am just simply numbering um, the order of those coordinates. So this is my first point, hence it's x1, y1. This is my second coordinate, so x2, y2. If I was going to generalize this then, what would be the distance between A and B in general form? Can anybody think? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, y, y1. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it the other way around because it comes in order. Yeah, okay. So y2 take away y1. Good. That's just the difference in the y coordinates. Yep. Carol? Um, square. Yep, square that. It doesn't matter which way around it is. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so similar kind of idea. All I'm doing here is I'm looking at the difference in the x coordinates. That's what goes there. The difference in the y coordinates. That's what goes there. And then I'm just applying Pythagoras to that. Okay, I'm just using these two lengths here and applying Pythagoras to it. 